of you that are coming in, still coming in on the prayer line. And I want to say good morning to those of you that are coming in on Facebook Live. This is a great morning. This is an awesome morning. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good because his mercy endureth forever. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man can do unto me. Good morning, Sister Sharon. God bless you. And to those that are coming in whose names that we cannot see, good morning to you also. Good morning to Sister Kimberly. Sister Janice, good morning. Sister Yvette, good morning. Sister Magna, good morning. Sister Teresa, good morning. God bless all of you this morning. Good morning, Sister Kim. Sister Janice, good morning. Sister Robin, good morning. Sister Patty, good morning. Sister Teresa, Sister Mary, Sister Yvette, good morning. Sister Kathleen, good morning. Sister Cookie, good morning. Sister Ada, good morning. Sister Michelle, good morning. Sister Daphne, good morning. Good morning, Sister Erica, Sister Evelyn, Sister Betty, Sister Jan, Sister Veronica, good morning. Sister Lorette, good morning. Dr. Longmire, Sister June, Sister Wanda, Sister Estelle, good morning. Sister Lauren, good morning. First day back to nursing school, we're praying for you. Good morning, Sister Tabitha. Good morning, Mother McCroy. Good morning, Sister Valerie, Sister Belinda, Sister Giovanna, Sister Lisa, Sister Shirley, good morning. Sister Sharon, good morning. God bless you from Houston, Texas. Good morning, Sister Deborah. Good morning, Sister Yvette. Sister Sherry Ann. Good morning, Dr. Hampton. Good morning, Sister Wanda. Good morning, Brother Clark. God bless you. Good morning, Chav. Good morning to Gigi. Good morning, Sister Calice. Good morning, Lady Susan. I'm glad to see that you are feeling much better. We've been praying for you. Sister Jesse, Sister Keisha. Good morning. Good morning, Sister Ida. God bless you. As we are coming in, we are preparing our hands and our fingers to war. Good morning, Sister Claudette. Sister Jeanette. God bless you. Also, to those of you that have joined us on the prayer line, we want to say good morning to you also. And I want to say this. I want to say good morning, Sister Vanessa. I want to say thank you for sewing into this prayer hour. And there have been many of you that have asked me about um, about my cash app. And I have not put it on. And I, I do not put it on. And I'm speaking just for me. I'm not speaking concerning anybody else. Good morning, uh, Brother Larry. Um, I, I did not want anyone to think that the reason that I was doing this um, was to pour into, uh, to financially pour into the ministry, but I wanted to, um, I believe the Lord had led me and pushed me to help the saints in commanding their morning, changing their mornings um, at the very beginning. So the enemy does not get a hold to your morning before you do. You have the words in your mouth to speak and to speak change, not only to speak change, but we're getting on top of of things that the enemy has is putting in place and we can change through prayer i'm going to share this uh, my cash app on this morning is dollar sign krista m tyson dollar sign krista m tyson and let's move forward thank you for mingling uh, your intercession with intercessors on this morning good morning sister tanya and sister tanya and sister nicole god bless you on this morning good morning Sister um, Yolanda and Sister Paulette. Good morning, Sister Doris. God bless you. Amen. Good morning, Sister Teresa and Sister Crystal. Good morning. Good morning. I want you, the Lord has um, impressed upon my heart and upon my mind uh, dealing with a, a particular uh, thing this morning. Good morning, Sister Carol, Sister Lorraine, and Sister Wanda. And let's declare what the Bible says, and that is that I will make my prayer unto God and he will hear me. Sister Irene, Sister Judith, 
And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, the Bible said that he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of him. So I'm going to decree a thing. And the Bible says it shall be established. From this passage or from this verse, from Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 2. Good morning, Sister Lisa, Sister Janelle, Sister Rosa, and Sister Lauren. The Bible says, Proverbs 29 and verse 2, when the righteous are in authority, or when the righteous increase, when they're in power, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth, or when the wicked have dominion, when they have the rule, the people mourn. So in this Proverbs chapter 29, Solomon here speaks to a political policy, a political policy. Political leadership was as much an issue to be addressed in the Old Testament as well as it is on today. And as you could tell, we are praying this morning concerning the, um, the uh, uh, political system, we're praying concerning the nominations in um, our, our voting uh, system um, on this morning. The Bible declares that in Ecclesiastes chapter 1 and verse 9, the thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. So Solomon in Proverbs 29 he gives advice. It's nothing new. He gives advice to a son that was to be adhered to. His son was Rehoboam. His son was the next one in line after Solomon. And the Bible shares with us from Second um, Kings, and uh, uh, it shares with us that Rehoboam was a bad king. He ignored the advice of his elders. He was the one that um, when the... Uh, um, appeal was gone out from the people. The Bible says that he asked the elders and he asked his peers. The elders gave him one advice and the peers gave the other advice and he adhered to his peers and his rule was noted for war. But just seven kings after Rehoboam was a seven-year-old boy by the name of Joash of whom the Bible shares was guided by Jehoiada, the priest, as long as the priest lived. As long as the priest lived, Joash, king of Judah, was successful. Joash, he was, uh, he was right in the eyes of God until his mentor, the priest, died. And then up came some wicked advisors. Stay with me. I shared with you about these kings and their reigns because the world is affected by the morality or the lack thereof of its leaders. I'm going to say that again. The world is affected by the morality or the lack thereof of its leaders. As goes the leaders in morality and in spirituality, so goes the world. So never believe that our actions affect no one but ourselves. The higher you go in leadership, the more people believe that you arrive there because you are always right. That's not the case. The moves you make are more likely to be followed by you or by someone, someone else, they're following you more than they'll follow anybody else. It's important to pray for our political leaders. And it's equally important to pray for those um, that are advising them or to pray for their advisors. Watch this. Solomon's advice was to those leading in politics and going into politics. But Solomon also shared that where no counsel is, watch this, where no counsel is, the people fall. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. 
then the advice then, the counsel that Solomon gives is also to those who have been called to be alongside of or go alongside of those in politics. In particular in this verse, because no leadership stands alone or is an island. I'm remembering the words of the Honorable Bishop Norman L. Wagner. And he referred to this as sacred callings in secular places. Sacred callings in secular places. We are praying for this election and for those that are running. We're also praying for those that are assigned by God to be in positions to give godly counsel to those in leadership. There are many that have been called not only to places in particular or political arenas, but in high places, in corporate spaces, that the presence of God, the thoughts of God may be on record. I'm going to say that again. There are many of us, many of you that have been called, anointed to be in places, not just in political arenas, but in high places, in corporate spaces, that the presence of God, the thoughts of God may be on record. We are not only praying for those in political leadership, but those in Christian leadership and those around them. Come on, let's enter into a time of prayer. Our assignment this morning is to pray for the election. Mm. Some have thought that this election has nothing to do with what's going on in our atmosphere or in our environment or in the world. But I want you to know it has everything to do with what happens and what is happening in our world. But we understand that there is authority that is above that. Because the Bible declares that the heavens do rule, not the earth. So God is still in control. And if God is still in control, what God does not want to happen will not happen. But we must understand that as the people of God, as the people of the name, as the people with the power and the authority to pray, we must understand that God responds or God acts when we pray. So he says, come boldly into the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need. If these are not times of need, I don't know what times were times of need. These as many others. Times things can be changed when the people of God realize, realize the authority and the power that they have in prayer. So our assignment this morning is to pray for the election. Not only are we praying for the election, but our assignment this morning is to pray for the candidates. Not only are we praying for the candidates, but our assignment is to pray for the advisors. That's important. Because we must understand that the advisors that are in place have the ability to change the heart and the mind of leadership. We're praying also for those that have been called to secular places. Called to secular places, but out of fear, have not moved yet. So let's enter into the gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Father, in the name of Jesus, in your great name, in your mighty name, in your awesome name, ha God, you are the great I am. Thank you, God, creator, all sufficient one, all knowing, omnipresent. There is nothing, dear God, that you do not know and nothing, dear God, that you do not see. You sit on the circle of the earth. Yeah, yeah. And God, you see everything that there is to be seen. Even the little ants, dear God, you see. Oh, God. And we call upon your great name on this morning. We exalt you this morning. God, we thank you. 
Oh yes, you have allowed us to rise this morning in our right mind. And God, with a desire to call upon your name, a desire, dear God, to worship and adore your great name this morning. Glory and honor belongs to you in the name of Jesus. We acknowledge that beside you, before you, and after you, there is no other in the name of Jesus. You stand alone, oh God. And God, we reverence you. We reverence your name. Ah, yeah. And Father, we declare even right now that we need you in the name of Jesus. We need you right now. And uh, we need you, Lord God. Ah, Lord Sheboya. He, God, even in leadership on this morning, we need need you dear God we're incapable incapable of ordering and directing our own steps without you oh God I am I say oh God we're incapable of doing this without you doing your will doing your way without you in the name of Jesus father we can't lead others without you in the name of Jesus so father we call upon your name this morning we won't attempt to God to lay any particular petition before you or to ask anything before we acknowledge the fact that dear God we are in need of your forgiveness oh God that we are in need of you in the name of Jesus so father we ask you to forgive us this morning and let not our sins divide us and stand between us and our petitions in the name of Jesus dear God let the words of my mouth oh God and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight dear God create within us a clean heart oh God and renew a right spirit within us in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus oh God oh God hallelujah hallelujah this morning dear God we're praying we're praying for your intervention in this upcoming election in the name of Jesus dear God we're praying for the candidates we're praying for the advisors we're praying dear God for those that have been called to be in secular places in the name of Jesus those that have been called, that have been anointed by you, dear God. Hallelujah to be in positions, to turn heads and to turn thoughts. Hallelujah and turn wicked desires in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for the candidates in this election. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask that you strengthen. First, that you strengthen them physically, that you speak to them uh, and strengthen them mentally and emotionally in this process. God physically let not the run, let not the stress, let not the long nights and let not the busy days, oh God, exacerbate eh, any pre-existing condition that's already in the body of the candidates in the name of Jesus. Father, eh, God. God, we ask that their minds, we ask you, Lord God, that their minds be sharp, sharp with positive responses, eh, God, and remembering necessary pieces of information, dear God, that must be addressed to meet the needs of people in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you help them, help them to keep their emotions under control. Oh, God, you said a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Dear God, keep their emotions and keep their reactions under control that will arouse, dear God, arouse it 
outbreak amongst the people in the name of Jesus that would arouse Lord God the inner anger in the name of Jesus the inner thoughts and give people a reason to fight give people a reason Lord God to be out of control in the name of Jesus we pray for peace peace in this election in the name of Jesus father we pray that the candidates remember oh God why they are running in the name of Jesus remember Lord God that they're in place for the improved welfare of all mankind and not for their own self aggrandizement in the name of Jesus Oh God, while this may put them in various places of privilege, dear God, oh God, but we ask you to help them to remember that this is not the reason, dear God, that they went into this position, but God, they represent the people in the name of Jesus. The desire, dear God, hallelujah, is to create good welfare for all mankind in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that with every vision and with every plan that the candidates have, dear God, that you give them strategies. In the name of Jesus, not going in, dear God, with a plan and not having strategies. In the name of Jesus, give them strategies, always keeping to the forefront of their minds the needs of the people in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Father and Messiah, we pray, dear God, we pray for their protection. We pray, dear God, for the protection of the candidates families in the name of Jesus beyond what the security can do beyond Lord God what security has been assigned to them but father we understand that the adversary has a keen mind in the name of Jesus oh God and can map out what things that the security detail do and can try Lord God to usurp and try to walk over but father in the name of Jesus I ask you Lord to camp your angels about the camp candidates in the name of Jesus protect them and their families in the name of Jesus protect them dear God from danger seen and unseen in the name of Jesus protect them dear God from the wicked schemes of men in the name of Jesus hallelujah oh God father we pray we pray Lord God for those that have been called in the name of Jesus we pray dear God for those that have been mantled mantled to secure hallelujah secular places mantled dear God to secular be secular advisors in secular places in the name of Jesus Jesus. Oh God, we pray for those that have been mantled. Dear God, mantled to make a difference. A difference through their life and through their living and through their sharing of the thoughts of God in secular places in the name of Jesus oh God and that they would step up and move into place through the open doors dear God that you have made available in the name of Jesus open doors dear God that you have opened up for them to walk through we rebuke fear in the name of Jesus oh God your word says that when the righteous do rule in the name of Jesus oh God there is peace in the land oh God in the name of Jesus so we pray dear God hallelujah that the doors that have been open Lord God for those individuals to go into that are qualified and even Lord God hallelujah those that think they're not qualified but you open the door for them father in the name of Jesus let them walk through through Lord God under
understanding that it is an assignment and not just a position Lord God father in the name of Jesus those that have been called into advisory positions Lord God don't let them get caught up caught up in placement that they forget that they are your representatives in the name of Jesus that they forget Lord God the reason that they are there to speak Lord God your thoughts hallelujah into the ears of leadership hey God to put your thoughts in place in the name of Jesus father somebody is struggling struggling with the call to represent you in sacred places in the name of Jesus so father I ask you dear God that you give them clarity give them clarity without doubt in the name of Jesus father in the name of Jesus, we ask, dear God, that you close the doors. Close the doors, dear God, on the one that's seeking to get close to leadership, to give bad advice. Oh, God, just as in the case of Rehoboam, in the name of Jesus, giving bad advice that turns the heart and the mind and the leadership of the leader. But, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to advise them, hallelujah, let the advice, Lord God, that is given to leadership that is wrong, oh God, in the name of Jesus, let it go bad, advice that is opposed to your thoughts, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it right now, in the name of Jesus, God, and we pray, we pray for discernment in leadership, to know the good from the bad, and they have the desire to do the right in the name of Jesus oh father can I oh God we pray the ill advisors that have crossed the threshold I am a Messiah and sitting with the leadership in the name of Jesus that you confuse their thoughts in the name of Jesus confuse their words confuse their plans that they don't even but understand what they are saying oh God in the name of Jesus father we ask that you would dismantle God that you would dismantle oh God dismantle all of the schemes that would remove the right to vote from every man who wants to in the name of Jesus oh God we ask that you would protect the voters protect the voters against adversaries because of the voters choice in the name of Jesus father we pray for peace oh God we pray for peace in this election process father we ask that you bring to naught all advisory plans that precede this election that are negative in the name of Jesus father we recognize Hallelujah. We recognize that there's a rumble in the air. And God, we ask that you nudge. Nudge the heart of your people to cry out against the adver adversarial spirit in the name of Jesus. Open their mouths, Lord God. Hallelujah. And call out in the name of Jesus for your help. Father, in the name of Jesus. For we do believe, Lord God, that when we call upon your name, you hear and you do answer in the name of Jesus we do believe dear God that we have the power in the name of Jesus through calling upon your name to change a thing and it shall be done oh God I seek out all God seekers today I seek out Lord God all prayer warriors in the name of Jesus to pray pray in the most Messiah. Pray about this election in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, and I say, Koya. Hey, God. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Father, in the name of Jesus, not only in the political realm, not only in political world, but Father, in the Christian world, in the name of Jesus, there are leaderships that are in transitions. Oh God, some of our fathers, Lord God, have gone off the scene in the name of Jesus. And up comes, Lord God, sons of fathers, natural sons of fathers, spiritual sons of fathers father in the name of Jesus and there's not an understanding of the seat of position dear God until we get in the seat of position so father I ask you in the name of Jesus to give that next leadership an ear to hear your voice in the name of Jesus and understand that the people of God are the greatest people on the earth in the name of Jesus that they would lead and guide the people of God according Lord God to your will in the name of Jesus and being sensitive Lord God of the times oh God that they would lead them dear God in the direction that you would have the people to go and father I ask you in the name of Jesus the new leadership that is coming in in the Christian world oh God in the churches I ask you dear God to undergird them to strengthen them to direct them to give vision dear God not only giving vision dear God but I ask you to give them strategies not only giving them strategies God but I ask you to give them counselors that are after your heart in the name of Jesus that the counselors and advisors and the mentors dear God will not lead them astray based upon what they want but father in the name of Jesus those that you put in position Lord God to speak good counsel into next leadership in the name of Jesus I ask you dear God to let them be consecrated hey God in the name of Jesus oh God hallelujah my say that the next leadership Lord God will not be unrighteous will not be those that are not seeking your face but seeking your face in all times hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, and God in the name of Jesus, we thank you dear God, hallelujah, we thank you dear God, that you have them right now under your hand, hallelujah, that leadership is under your hand, in the name of Jesus, is in your hands, oh Father in the name of Jesus, I ask you dear God right now, hallelujah, more to be glorified in the name of Jesus. Lord God, your name to be praised. Hallelujah. And we declare that it is done. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise right now. Hallelujah. We give you praise right now because the direction, Lord God, that it could have went is not going to go because the people of God are praying in the name of Jesus. Oh God, and we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus now father in the name of Jesus we lay before you dear God the prayer request that upon the heart and the mind of your people in the name of Jesus Lord God we call upon your name because you God are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think in the name of Jesus God you are a healer father in the name of Jesus we pray, Lord God, for Pastor Sarah Barbour. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I ask you to touch my sister's body. And I say, oh, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to touch her body in the name of Jesus. 
asking a healer, dear God, from the top of her head to the sole of her feet, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to restore her strength, Lord God, so that she can get back up on the wall with might and with power, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we declare and decree that it is so, in the name of Jesus, I pray, dear God, for Ashley and Aiden, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your protection, I pray, dear God, for the infant that is in the hospital right now, dealing, Lord God, with cancer in the name of Jesus. I ask you to fight, Lord God, for his body. Oh, God, fight where he cannot fight. Fight where that baby cannot fight. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. God, I pray for the Williams family in the name of Jesus. I pray, dear God, for Joshua and Stephen Hudson in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, God, for Elijah Wayman, for Andre Sims, in the name of Jesus. I pray for the Turner, the Johnson, and the Mitchell family. Oh God, for Minister Trish Allen, uh, Trish Anderson, in the name of Jesus. For Taylor Jones, Janae Dublin, Cambria Brown, Tina Tate Dublin. Father, I pray for Tony Clomax, for Pastor Edwards and family, for Judah Jackson, total recovery, in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Miss Casamayora. Thank you for healing her body in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for all of those that are grieving this morning. The pastors that have lost their wives and wives that have lost their husbands that are pastors. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, not only strength for them, but I pray, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, for the church, Lord God, strengthen, lift them, Lord God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, let their memories be of what the man of God or the woman of God that was the pastor. Let it be, Lord God, of the vision that was laid before them, that they can carry on in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Tanisha Stokes. I pray, Lord God, for the Jones, Tymir DuBose, Cynthia Della Rosa. I pray, Lord God, for Nicole, for Andre Morgan, Krista Oliver, and Deborah Carpenter, for the Bethesda Apostolic Church, Stanley Jones, Bishop Lance and Lady Deborah Foster and family, for Brother Pace and family, Shanika Owens, oh God, for our children, for Bishop McGruff and family, for Elder Dory and Hope Shepherd, for the unemployed, dear God, open doors and avenues for them, God, for to be gainfully employed, and then God, remembering that they are stewards of what you have given to them. I pray for Elder Allen and Lady Carmen Arilla, for Mothers Proctor, Joseph Green, Philip Savage, and Smith. I pray, Lord God, for Mother Goodman's health and strength. I pray, Lord God, for the Joseph and Blackwell family, for Minister Sonia Williams, dear God. Strengthen her and her siblings and family. In the name of Jesus, I pray for the grieving and the mourning. Lift them peace that passes all understanding. Oh God, I pray pray for the students that are going back to school, uh, for the college students, uh, for the teachers, and for the principals. In the name of Jesus, keep them safe. Uh, oh God, uh, let them remember to practice safe practices. Uh, I pray, Lord God, for Alex and Bree Smith, uh, for those that are dealing with COVID-19. Uh, I pray, dear God, for Lindsay Ballard, uh, for for the Ballard family. I pray, Lord God, for Errol and Addis Joseph, for Evangelist Jackie and Doris Scott. I pray, dear God, for Evangelist Crystal Williams, for the Ron Rainey. God, I thank you for healing his body. I pray, Lord God, for the Perkins family, for John and Justin, for Dr. Gutierrez, for William Brown and family. God, for Leela Williams, for home care aide Colleen. In the name of Jesus, for uh, I pray, Lord God, for essential workers, for Shirley Smith, God, heal her body. 
in the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, for Mr. Elliot Graves, for Glenda Gilchrist, for Greg and Tanya Rhodes, oh God, for Hannah and Delbert, hallelujah, for Charles Healing, oh, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for Cheryl Rose, for Jean Thompson, Glenda Gilchrist, in the name of Jesus, Kiana Foster and family, for Catherine Hever and Zipporah, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, we call upon your name and lay them before you, God, because nobody, Lord God, can do a complete healing. Nobody can do a complete turnaround. Nobody can do a complete change like you can or but you in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord God, what we can do for others are temporary, but God, I ask you to do a complete thing. I pray, Lord God, for the big the Norm, the McKnight, Simmons, White, and Groken, Groken family. I pray, Lord God, for all mental disorders, those that are dealing with, Lord God, blood issues. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, for Greg and Elise, for Angela Shaw, God, for our corrections department. In the name of Jesus, I pray for Joyce Wormsley, for Gabby. In the name of Jesus, I pray, dear God, hallelujah. I pray, dear God, that you would heal every pastor's body. I pray, Lord God, for Dana Sykes and her daughter, Jamae. I pray for Keith Shaw, for Maj and the girls, Peggy and Danielle Dozier, for Courtney Jackson, in the name of Jesus, all of our senior citizens, those that are in the nursing home. God, there's nothing too hard for you. For the homeless and the hungry, God, we declare and decree that it is so in the name of Jesus. For all of Lord God, the requests that are coming in, not only on Facebook Live, but for those Lord God that are being spoken in the atmosphere, in the name of Jesus, by those that are on the prayer line. God, I pray in the name of Jesus for their health, in the name of Jesus, those that are on the prayer line. I pray Lord God for their families, in the name of Jesus, that you would touch Lord God, touch their family members, in the name of Jesus. Heal, Lord God, from the top of their head to the sole of their feet. What the doctor said was impossible. I ask you, dear God, to turn it around. What the doctor said could not be done. We will believe the report of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, and we declare and decree that it is so. In the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we pray for every intercessor, every God seeker. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that you would keep them, that you would touch them. Because, Lord God, they dared, in the name of Jesus, to get up early in the morning and to intercede on the behalf of somebody else. Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask you, dear God, to answer their prayers. Answer, dear God, the prayers that they have laid before you in the name of Jesus that have not been spoken verbally. Those, Lord God, that don't want it be said. Father, I ask you in the name of Jesus that you would touch that thing right now. Ah, God, that thing that they've been waiting on for a long time. Ah, God, I touch in the name of Jesus. And God, we declare and decree that it is so. It is so. It is so. And, uh, it is so. It is so. Those that are on their way to work, cover them in the name of Jesus. Go before them. Huh? God, let there be peace in the name of Jesus. Cover them behind and on the side. In the name of Jesus. And we will give your name the glory. We will give your name the praise and the honor. God, we declare and decree that it is so. It is so. It is so. We close the back door with a prayer. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we bless your name. God, we bless your name. God, we bless your name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 